Hey guys, Scott Jelinski, Modern Samurai Project. Thanks for making it back. Uh, today we're going to continue talking about the next stage of getting a good, smooth, fast draw from AIWB Concealed. Before we get into that though, as you guys can tell from the background, today is brought to you by Agency Arms. Uh, I am an Agency Arms sponsored shooter. You guys have seen my Glock 34 in these videos and some of my other videos. Uh, I love that gun to death, love the company, love the team to death. Michael Parks does an outstanding job of customer service over there. And if you guys want to try out some of the products and be part of the team, uh, Jedlinski05 is your discount code. That's J-E-D-L-I-N-S-K-I-0-5 for 5% off your offer, off, off your order. Doesn't matter if it's a trigger all the way to a custom build. Just a little bit of help from you guys. Thanks from Agency and myself to the rest of you guys for tuning in. Uh, okay, so that said, let's get started. So last time we talked about proprioceptive indexes, how I come down and I uh, slap and I grasp and I get down. And when I get my firing grip, it's with my thumb over my left post, uh, rear sight post. And that way it's just more efficient than when I grab and come up. So let's talk about our next proprioceptive index, which is my sternum. Okay, so when I'm here, I go, I grab this, I'm bringing my shirt to my sternum. Why do I do that? Quite easily. I've been doing this for my whole life. I clap. And when I clap, it's right at my sternum. I don't need to relearn where to do this. Some people bring it all the way up to the shoulder. And while the shoulder is a proprioceptive index, and I, and I get that, you know, it gets to that theory of people thinking, well, if a little motion's good, a lot of motion's better. That's kind of what we're disagreeing with here. I don't care what you do, just think about it. Besides, when I go to my sternum, I mean, I mean I'm going from my pinky to my thumb, that's what, a good six, seven inches? That's plenty of room to clear it, right? Most of the time when people get hung up, it's in two places, where this hand is going and this hand's going too fast and their thumb gets caught. Nothing to do with clearing the gun, right? The second part is when they're coming up here and they don't clear it enough and their rear sight gets caught up in, in the gun. That said, sternum's plenty of room, right? I just don't know if bringing it to the shoulder is necessary. Again, you do you, but maybe you're not making that one second draw and delaying your Instagram uh, uh, famous status because of that. Just something to think about, okay? So, the other part where people kind of fall down on their time and they waste time is when they try and go faster, not sooner. What do I mean by that? Well, they try and go fast and they use useless frenetic motion. They come up, they go here, they grab this, but they gotta move their hands fast. So they throw their shirt down and turn it back up to the grip and bounce the gun and put it out and no, I can't and there's no dot. What happened there? Instead of being efficient, coming here, getting in the sternum and just marrying it right there. You don't need to throw the shirt down, just let it go and bring it out to your eye line. Really that simple. So again, to recap, we're here, we're bringing it to the sternum, we're grabbing it up, we're marrying it out, okay? Next time, we're actually gonna talk about the presentation. I'm gonna introduce you to things uh, when you're drawing and you're presenting out of drawing up instead of punching out, right? Again, the proprioceptive of index of my eye line versus punching out into space. Where is this? I don't know. Something to think about. Again, once again, guys, I uh, really appreciate you coming back. We'll finish up the series on the next video. As always, be good, stay safe, get training.